So my experience building a DTC brand was launching Hue and Cry back in 2009, 2010, and helping expand that to multiple product categories, multiple SKUs within those product categories into a profitable multi-million dollar business. Most important metrics to look at for a business like that is profitability, making sure that what we're doing from a day-to-day -day perspective is smart from a cash perspective, but also profitable and also just extremely top-line focused as well. So it's this weird three-legged stool between profitability, uh, creativity, and being original, and also uh, doing something that customers resonate with. The most important metrics in my role at Hue & Cry were revenue, traffic, AOV, and conversion. Looking at those four metrics would really help identify what was going well within the business. So revenue, it's not just at revenue at a specific time, it's also looking at it over hist historical data and looking at it over a period of time to make sense of where it is today. And if there's seasonality, if there's growth from a year over year perspective, that's amazing. Traffic is important to look at to see, you know, that, that informs PR, that informs paid, that informs how well the site is working, if the site is working at all. Um, so it's just like a very high level metric that can give you the day-to-day -day health. AOV really spikes once you increase your, um, your products or your product categories. So if you have products that work well together and you can have them be in one batch working with each other and um, being purchased together, that will increase AOV and that's one thing that really increased our revenue at a specific point in time. And lastly, conversion is a great mark sign for when you're launching your brand. If you're rebranding, you can see how conversion has changed since that rebrand. And as, the, as a business lives, seeing how that conversion can improve or gets worse is a, is a great sign to seeing what you've done in the past that could lead to that change and help you learn for the future. So in my experience, starting Hue and & Cry and running Hue and & Cry and then consulting for various businesses, the big mistake that it's made often is that the focus isn't on those top line metrics, it's rather on individual marketing initiatives and not seeing how those marketing initiatives roll up to the higher level. And so it's easy to sort of get distracted by the flashy new things rather than taking a step back, seeing how the entire business could be run more efficient, efficiently or looking at the entire business and seeing how all these marketing initiatives play hand in hand together.